हेलो एवरी वन एंड वेलकम बैक टू इंग्लिश क्लास डू यू ऑल लाइक स्टोरीज आई एम वेरी श्योर दैट यू ऑल लव स्टोरीज राइट चिल्ड्रेन येस वी ऑल आर वेरी वेल एक्वेंटेड विद द स्टोरीज ऑफ अकबर एंड बिरबल राइट येस मोस्ट ऑफ द पीपल लव देयर स्टोरीज सो कम अलॉन्ग विथ मी टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न two amusing and interesting stories of akbar and birbal in the lesson 1.2 who's the greatest so are you ready yes let's try to read and understand who's the greatest emperor akbar or akbar the great is known as one of the greatest rulers in the world not just because he had vast empire a very strong army untold wealth but because he was a good human being now here characteristics of emperor akbar are told right emperor akbar is known as great why he was great uh, he was uh, the greatest means greatest rulers in the world means he was one of the greatest rulers among other rulers right he was one of the greatest king among all other kings in the world not just because he had a vast empire now here the word vast means spread everywhere so his empire was spread everywhere not just because he had this vast empire or not uh, even because a very strong army his army was also very strong he even had untold wealth untold means lot of wealth which cannot be counted or which cannot be calculated all because, uh, because of all these things he was not the greatest ruler but he was the greatest ruler because he was a good human being you know people around the world uh, knew him as a good person good human being so he was called as the greatest ruler just because he was a good human being and not because he had vast empire a very strong army or maybe a lot of wealth or untold wealth okay remember students untold means lot of wealth which cannot be counted or calculated whereas vast means spread spread everywhere he had large or huge empire is that clear okay so he had great respect for scholars this is another reason why he was you know uh, known as a greatest ruler because he had great respect for scholars now who is a scholar a scholar is a person who uh, is highly educated or has some aptitude for studying or scholars can be also called as you know professionals those who are good at their profession very uh, highly learned people they are called as scholars so he had lot of respect for scholars even writers okay poets and artist <clears throat> artist you all must be knowing about artist right artist are those people who can you know dance sing can paint those painters singers or uh, dancers and any uh, many uh, people who have different who have different skills are called as artist okay so he had respect for all these people scholars writers poets artist belonging to different religions now everybody knows that akbar was a muslim king but though he was a muslim muslim king still he had lot of respect for different religions okay so he, uh, the scholars or writers and poets and artists who were from different religions he had respect for them so he, he was not only respecting only his religion people he respected everyone he was a patron of art and culture now patron of art and culture means a person who appreciates supports and encourages art and culture okay patron of art and culture means a person who appreciates supports and encourages art and culture and uh, he may even give them uh, rewards for their Uh, artistry is that clear students so patron of art means who the person who supports encourages 
and uh, appreciate the art in them okay fine the nine gems or navratnas now nine gems means gem a gem is actually a precious stone okay now here in uh, in this context it is nine gems means here he is referring uh, the uh, <clears throat> writer is referring to the um, people in his uh, kingdom okay so there were nine gems nine gems or navratnas in his uh, kingdom or in his court were very famous okay so these people uh, um, among all these nine gems one of them was birbal another one you might have heard about tan sen okay the great singer so all these people were uh, very good at their Uh, professions different professions they had and therefore he had nine gems okay and among them among these nine gems even uh, birbal was one of them so birbal uh, navratnas in his court were famous many people uh, believed that of these nine gems birbal was the closest to the emperor's heart now closest means you know uh, the person who is loved the most who is uh, uh, okay so emperor akbar loved uh, birbal very much okay among others uh, he was the most loved person by emperor akbar and therefore here it is said closest to the emperor's heart Me means he was loved a lot by akbar, uh, akbar. Akbar loved to pose interesting questions or problems in his court. Now, Akbar loved to pose. Pose means to ask. Okay, Akbar loved to ask interesting questions or problems in his court. In his court means in uh, in uh, uh, where the people are gathering in his kingdom. That is called as court. Okay, so Akbar loved to pose interesting questions or problems in his uh, in his court, and Birbal never failed to come up with an equally interesting answer. Okay, so only Birbal was the one who used to give. him the correct answer and that answer would uh, not only be the correct one but it would be the most interesting answer okay so uh, akbar had that habit of posing or asking questions to his courtiers okay uh, courtiers and he is to answer all those um, birbal used to answer uh, with equally interesting answer to the question now we don't know whether all the akbar and birbal stories that we hear today have any basis in history means what uh, there are so many thousands and thousands of stories written on akbar and birbal but there is no proof or there is no evidence that they are real or they are true okay so uh, that means there is no basis in the history that means there is no evidence or proof for all the stories of akbar and birbal in history they have been handed down over generations mainly by word of mouth they have been handed down means what they have been passed on from one generation to another one generation to another means generations means what you know from grandfather to father father to uh, the children uh, from the children to grandchildren and so on this is called as generation to generation so they have been handed down over handed down means to pass on pass on from one generation to another by word of mouth by word of mouth means uh, by you know uh, from one person to another it has been passed on here are two of them so let's learn two of the stories of akbar and birbal so they are very interesting and amis amusing so you will love them uh, uh, love these two stories okay fine so let's continue one day the emperor entered the court with a very serious expression okay expression expression means um emotions or actions which are shown on the face okay so uh, when the emperor entered in uh, um, in the court one day he had a very serious expressions okay serious expression on his face serious expression that means he might be either angry or he might be thinking something okay so that is why he had a serious expression on his face 
as soon as he was seated, he said, I have a question for all of you. What should be the punishment for someone who, who pulls my moustache? I have a question for all of you. What should be the punishment for someone who pulls my moustache? Okay, now here, moustache. You might have heard about the word moustache, right? So, the moustache is nothing but the facial hair on the men's upper lip. lip or also we in Marathi we call it as Misha, correct? So, moustache means Misha, fine. Now, here he is asking his courtiers that what type of punishment can I give to uh, someone who has pulled my moustache that means someone had pulled his moustache and um, he is asking his courtiers what type of punishment he can give now the court was stunned the court was stunned means court was surprised amazed astonished uh, they had no answer to the question asked by emperor because who would dare to, you know, just uh, pull uh, emperor's moustache, right? So, pull the emperor's moustache. All of them are murmuring and saying to each other, pull the emperor's moustache. It was unheard. It was unheard means it, it, can, uh, it cannot be heard like this or it is never heard. Unheard means never heard. Nobody has heard, uh, heard uh, something like this. Okay, a grave mistake or uh, some serious offense like this. Who has a daring to, you know, pull the uh, uh, moustache of an emperor? So, all the people in the court were stunned. Okay, flog him. Give him 50 lashes of the whip. Now, they are saying, the courtiers are, you know, saying that they are very angry and, you know, uh, no, uh, it is very unheard that uh, somebody will be pulling moustache. So, one of them says, flog him, give him 50 lashes of the whip. Now, a whip means uh, a strip of leather fastened to a handle, okay, means in Marathi we call it as sabuk, okay, sabuk. So, flog him means what? Beat him with the whip. Okay, beat him with the whip or with the lash. So, lashes means also to beat. Okay, so flog him, give him 50 lashes of the whip, exclaimed one nobleman. Okay, one person from the, one uh, a good person from his court shouted. Okay, that's not enough. Put him in jail without food and water, said another, another, uh, you know, another person also rose up and said that that is not enough, you know, just to give 50 lashes. He, this person, who has, whoever has done this act of, you know, uh, pulling the moustache of emperor should be put into jail and not only put into jail, but he should be kept there without food and water. That means to starve completely. Okay. So said another. Next, the third. <coughs> Whip him, beat him up, hang him, cut off his offending hands. The agitated courtiers began to cry out. Okay, so all together, you know, they uh, started shouting, whip him, that means give him lashes, give him, uh, flog him with the lashes, beat him up, hang him, hang him means, <clears throat> uh, you know, hang, you might have heard about hanging uh, in the court and all, right? Cut off his offending hands, offending means the one who has done an act of uh, uh, illegal act. Okay, offense means an illegal act. Uh, so, one of them is saying, cut off his offending hands. The agitated courtiers, agitated means disturbed, very angry. Okay, all of them were very angry uh, as to know who has done that act of pulling the moustache. So, they were very agitated and disturbed. Only Birbal was silent. He was even smiling a little. Okay. So, Birbal only was silent and he was smiling. What do you say, Birbal? What is your opinion? Okay, Emperor asked. So, opinion here means a view or a judgment given by a person. 
So Emperor Akbar is asking, what do you say Birbal? What is your opinion? <coughs> he says, in my opinion, O giver of peace to the world, the offender should be given his favorite sweet meat. Huh? Sweet meat? Isn't it very strange that he sings uh, sweet meat and other people are just shouting to make that person beat, flog him and cut off his hands. But here Birbal is saying what? O giver of the peace to the world, the offender should be given his favorite sweet meat. Here, O giver of peace to the world uh, is addressed to the emperor. Okay, uh, why he is been called as the giver of the peace? It's because he was one of the kind and peaceful person in the whole world. That is why uh, uh, Birbal has addressed uh, Akbar as O giver of the peace to the world. The offender, offender means a person who has done that act, bad act. Okay, so offender should be given his favorite sweet meat. Sweet meat, meat means sweet dish or uh, like mitai we call it is at as mitai. Okay, so he is saying that instead of beating him or flogging him, we should give him sweet meat. Okay, Raja Birbal, are you out of your mind? Give sweet meat for such a grave offense. Grave means very serious offense or very serious act or um, crime. Okay, grave offense. The courtiers began to say. Birbal smiled and offered an explanation. Yes, who would be so bold as to pull the emperor's moustache? Only his grandson. And he's saying that who will be who would be so bold? Who would be so bold means who would dare to touch even his moustache. Forget about pulling. Who would dare to touch and pull his moustache. Okay. As to pull emperor's moustache. Only his grandson. Of course. Only small children you know that. Uh, they have. Um, you know. They, uh, small children are very innocent. They don't know what to do and what not to do. Who will dare? Only a child can do this. Right, his grandson only has that daring to pull the moustache of the emperor. Now, when Akbar heard this, he burst out laughing because that is exactly what had happened in the morning. Okay, he realized that that only this thing only had uh, happened in the morning. So he burst out laughing. Burst out laughing means he laughed ha 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 loudly. He laughed, and uh, he came to know that it had happened in the morning. That is why. Uh, uh, he, uh, you know, Birbal could answer this question very uh, interestingly, intelligently. Okay, so this is the end of the story. So you could see here how Birbal tried to answer uh, the question of Agbar. Okay, fine. Now let's continue with the next uh, <clears throat> next part of the lesson. Or next, we will go for the next story now. On another occasion, occasion means some other time, Akbar was relaxing with some of his courtiers. Okay, so he was relaxing means he was taking some rest. A few of them thought that this was a good opportunity to shower praise on the emperor. Okay, there are, you know, sometimes there are so many people like that, that they just want to praise someone even, uh, because they might be wanting some reward. And that is why they like someone to praise simply without any intention. They do not have any good intention, but they just want some reward. That is why, uh, you know, <clears throat> they see the situation, condition, and then they start praising someone, even if they, you know, don't praise it from the heart. So, so, <clears throat> some of his courtiers thought that since um, Akbar was relaxing, that means he was in good mood, uh, some of the people in his court thought that this was the good opportunity. Opportunity means good chance, okay? Chance to shower praise. To shower praise means to praise the emperor, okay? To shower praise on the emperor and get some favors from 
him here favors means some rewards some prize money or maybe something right so uh, some favors from him that is why they thought that we will you know praise emperor akbar they began to compete with each other in praising akbar so all of them started now each one of them you know uh, wants to give the best praise so first one says you are the greatest of the kings first one one of them says you are the greatest of the kings second says you are the greatest of the kings or emperors that ever lived on the earth okay this is something you know exaggeration correct na you are greatest of the kings yes of course it can be believed that he is one of the greatest uh, king or, or among all the others so this is fine second one is saying what you are greatest of the kings or emperors that ever lived on earth that means he is trying to compare emperor akbar with those emperors or those kings who had already uh, you know passed away okay and they might be very good but he is saying that uh, this person is saying that he is the greatest of the kings or emperors that ever lived on the earth you are the greatest of all the people in heaven in or earth now you see the third one is saying little bada chada ke okay he is saying that you are greatest of all the people in heaven heaven you might have heard right heaven means uh, uh, you know swarg we call it is as a swarg in marathi right so you are greatest of all the people in heaven or even on the earth everyone that means he is greater than everyone in the world okay so the next one the fourth person is saying you are as great as god almighty oh my god <laughs> can anyone be uh, great as god almighty no i am not sure no one is as great as god almighty ha huh, this was the height now this was the height of praising you are the great you are greater than the god almighty my god this is something you know uh, out of everybody's mind okay so can you think that um, somebody is praising you also like that that you are greater than god almighty this is complete exaggeration okay <clears throat> this is not a truth that means that person wants to fool the emperor but now akbar was no fool <clears throat> he was, he is not a fool he did not care for false praise he knew that all the courtiers were trying to just uh, you know praise him praise him by giving false praises and uh, you know just because they want some reward he came to know that he he was not a fool he stopped the courtiers and asked do you all believe so so he is asking do you all believe uh, so all of them answered in one voice yes yes they answered in one voice all right then prove it to me tell me at least one thing that i can do but god almighty will not be able to do otherwise you will all incur our royal displeasure you have till tomorrow morning to prove it so now you know uh, emperor akbar was embarrassed why all people are you know giving him false praises so what he says he says that they have to prove it to him okay that he is the greatest uh, uh, greater than god almighty so he is uh, telling to try them uh, sorry he is trying to tell them that they have to tell at least one thing that he can do but god almighty cannot uh, will not be able to do otherwise all of them you will incur you will all incur our uh, royal displeasure okay uh, incur means suffer or may experience or may be uh, getting our royal displeasure okay a royal means having a status of a king or a may, uh, may be a queen or maybe the member of the royal family is called as royal royal displeasure displeasure means unhappiness so this whole phrase actually means to incur displeasure means make me angry here he is saying that you will incur our royal displeasure means you are making me angry okay and you will get 
punishment because of this okay if you don't prove that i am greater than only one thing you have to tell that i am greater than god almighty if you don't tell me one thing that one thing then you will be getting royal punishment you will have uh, till tomorrow morning to prove it okay so he says that till tomorrow morning you should be able to prove it to me that i am greater than god almighty now akbar then left the place without another look at the courtiers because he was very embarrassed and annoyed because uh, he had got some false praises from his own courtiers so he, he was very annoyed they were in a proper fix so proper fix means they were all confused now they were in a difficult situation because they had just given praises they did not knew that uh, um, uh, emperor akbar uh, would be instead of giving them rewards would be asking them to prove it right so they had thought that only they might be once if they give the praises to uh, emperor akbar they might be get, getting some good rewards but this had happened something ulta right so they were all in a proper fix in a difficult situation okay <clears throat> now they did not know what to do they thought and thought but couldn't think of any such thing that could be proved that that one thing uh, that uh, you know emperor akbar, akbar is greater than almighty in the end they went to birbal when birbal heard their story he told them not to worry okay so birbal told him not to worry fine the next morning the court was full everyone was curious to see what would happen next because they might get if uh, a birbal doesn't answer properly they will be getting some punishment royal displeasure right so they were very curious here curious the word curious means wanting to know something or eager to know something okay so they were they were all wanting to know to see what would happen next well said the emperor have you found a good answer to my question or are you ready to leave the court forever so emperor akbar was still annoyed so he is asking well have you found a good answer to my question have you got an answer good answer for my question or uh, if not then you have to leave the court forever just then birbal stepped forward and bowed low here bowed low means to bend down uh, in front of a person uh, to show him respect okay so he bowed before the emperor okay so just then birbal stepped forward and bowed low please don't be angry with those who think you are the greatest there's certainly at least one thing that you can do but god almighty cannot okay uh so he says that there is one thing that you can do but god almighty cannot now even akbar looked at birbal thoughtfully and he was also thinking you know how can you know birbal also started saying that i can do one thing that cannot be done by god almighty okay so akbar akbar looked at birbal very thoughtfully and was it what is that one thing he asked when you want to punish now uh, birbal is trying to answer when you want to uh, want to punish someone you can banish that person okay so he saying that when whenever you want to punish someone you can banish that person banish means you know to send someone away from the court or uh, country or place uh, as a um, uh, as an offended punishment okay so whenever any uh, anyone gets a punishment he has to leave that place um, uh, or maybe the country out of the country okay that is called as banishing or to banish okay so he says that when you want to punish someone you can uh, you know banish that person that you can throw him out of your kingdom but god's kingdom extends everywhere so he's saying god's kingdom even god is a king and therefore god is also having his own kingdom so god's kingdom extends everywhere extends everywhere means spreads everywhere 
okay so the almighty cannot banish any one from his kingdom that's right correct no so in god's kingdom maybe whoever uh, there are so many people who are good and uh, who are bad so that doesn't mean that uh, god almighty keeps only good people and uh, you know banishes uh, the bad people he cannot do that he has to keep everyone but emperor akbar can do that so this was the one thing which god cannot do but akbar can do right akbar's face was lit up with a smile so with lit up with a smile means he had a bright smile on his face and when we have a bright smile on the face a face looks lit up or bright okay that was very clear mm. birbal that was very clear, uh, clever while showing how i have an advantage you have also shown that god is greater i believe you he says that i have an advantage that means i am better than god in something something means in doing or uh, uh, giving punishment to someone but you have also shown that god is greater than me so he has proved uh, not only his point but he has even shown that god is greater than everyone so he says i believe you so akbar akbar was so pleased with the answer pleased means he was happy or he was satisfied with the answer that he forgave the courtiers for their stupidity okay so stupidity means a behavior that is uh, um, <clears throat> that shows lack of sense lack of good sense or maybe judgment so all his courtiers were stupid uh, he, they did not have sense in uh, whatever they are saying but whatever answer birbal had given he was very happy or very satisfied so the word pleased tells us that that he was satisfied with the answer right students so this was another second story i hope so you have liked the lesson and even understood the story and um, the meanings of all the words okay so uh, let me show you the meanings uh, the uh, new words what we have learned in this lesson so you can see these and uh, later on write in your notebook right there yeah. fine so this is regarding the lesson or uh, uh, number 1.2 who's the greatest i hope so you have liked it thank you